had to come upstairs. I've got another pair of binoculars that I've set up on top of a washing basket, but you can see there at 6.35, that's pretty much the, the, the maximum we're going to see here in San Diego. That's as much of the eclipse as we're likely to be able to see. We've managed to get a better viewpoint. I've come just to the side of that horrible tree. Didn't have to chop it down. Um, and you can see it's pretty well covered. Um, the, actually, there's another image there because I didn't have a chance to cover up the other eye hole. Um, I've cast a shadow so you can see the eclipse. And that's 6.35 San Diego time. That's the... I think that's the best image of the eclipse that I'm going to get. You can see it's a little out of focus. Um, and if you look at the other image there to the left, the uh, chromatic aberration giving a really nice rainbow effect. You get a great idea of how much of that sun um, has been eclipsed. Let's see if we can point the camera outside and show you what we're looking at. There's the sun. All it looks like to the camera is just a big, big glow. But uh, if you had the right glasses, you could see the eclipse that way. And it's just about to disappear over the skyline. I'm not quite sure if you're at the coast whether you'd see it better or not. We might have a little bit of haze tonight, so being inland, this might be as good a view as you'd likely to get anywhere.